Welcome everybody to the 40 EDR Threat Hunting module video series. In this video, which is video number 5, we're gonna continue talking about the MITRE attack. We're gonna introduce a new MITRE framework or MITRE um, project called the MITRE Ingenuity Project. In the previous video, which is video number 4, we've talked about what the MITRE attack uh, is and we differentiated between a tactic and techniques and we said that the tactic is a goal the goal of the attacker in other words the tactic answers the question why why the attacker executed those actions the 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 techniques in the other side answers the question or answer the question um how how the attacker um uh, could achieve that specific goal or that specific tactic. This is um, really, really a simple to to uh, simple way to understand the difference between tactic and techniques. The procedure is a the chaining of different techniques in order to draw an attack path. So the attacker, for example, the first attacking attempt may use um, a specific path okay and the next time he will use another path this is called the procedures so what's the mitre ingenuity project uh, as a simple definition this project will enhance or will uh, support and help both uh, customers and vendors so this project is really beneficial for customers who who, who uh, that those customers who want to um, choose the best solution out there uh, in the market f that fits their environment and in the other side it will support and help vendors to, um, to improve the detection capabilities of their solution and improve those um, products they are developing so as it is highlighted here the, the mission of this project is to bridge the, the gap by enabling users to better understand and defend against non-adversary behaviors through a transparent evaluation process and publicly available results. So I would like to uh, stop to this sentence a bit for just one minute. The, what they mean by transparent evaluation process, which is really, really important to explain here, is this particular project is um, uh, this particular project goal is not to um, define the best products out there on the market. No, it's not about recommending specific products uh, compared to others. No, this is not the, the goal. But the Matcher Ingenuity product will take, um, will give the chance to other vendors to participate in the evaluation and it will use a specific threat actor or adversary uh, TTPs and simulate those attacks on that environment and the ingenuity, the ingenuity project team will publish the result later on that will be uh, publicly available. So later on when the customer wants to compare two different products it will be easy for that customer to to do so and even for um for those vendors they can easily enhance their detection capabilities and solutions so let's go and see the solution in action so here this is the project as you can see okay so we're gonna choose the adversary as Kerbanac. okay and by the way companies um, or those vendors who owns, for example, EDR solutions um, have the, the freedom to participate to this evaluation. Okay, so for example, here we can choose a, per, a, 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 a vendor, let's say Fortinet, and let's compare it with Palo Alto. Okay, and here we're going to choose the Carbonac plus Fin 7. Uh, adversary or the threat actor and here we're gonna choose I, I will tell it to give me just the difference between the different steps what was detected or not detected by both products for example if something was detected in Palo Alto it will not be detected by Fortinet and vice versa so I will choose the tactic as execution execution tactic so here you can expand all you can unexpand it 
So let's take the first example here. So uh, in a simple, um, so let's let let's, let me open this text file in order to show you something. As you can see here, we've got here a word called telemetry. We've got word called technique, etc. So what's these? What's the secret behind these keywords? So when whenever you see not applicable, this is the case. Use if the vendor did not deploy a sensor on the test system. So the most important thing that we are going to face are these things. We have none, we have telemetry, we have general, tactic, and technique. So whenever you see telemetry, as you can see here, it says the behavior could be seen but was minimally processed. For example here, like CMD, for example. Let's click here. So you, you're going to see that the uh, this particular binary executed echo okay, using CMD. Okay, It was seen. Um, let's go back here. General, the behavior was processed and flagged. Here it was flagged as malicious, okay? But it couldn't take a decision whether this is a tactic or technique. The tactic is the behavior was classified and it will be enriched with the tactic or other notation about why it was performed by the cyber attack. And the technique, it's the same. It was classified as technique and it was enriched but with the technique uh, related information okay so and uh, so here we've got um uh, this particular event was detected if you look here it's a technique configuration um change and you can expand it to see what the 40 edr is telling you about it and here palo alto there is nothing and telemetry both of those have visibility about the event so you can here go ahead and compare both solutions. Look here, you can see here technique, telemetry, technique, tactics, telemetry, technique. Look here, it's general. There is nothing in 40 EDR. And here it's uh, classified as tactic and there is nothing on 40 or on uh, Palo Alto products solution. So you can keep going and compare both solutions. And here you have the ability to choose other solutions as well and compare them uh, different solutions. So I think that's enough for this video. I think I gave you more um, enough information in order to go ahead and search for this project yourself and explore it more. So this is was this was just a, an introduction uh, about the the benefits behind uh, focusing on mitre attack in our training in our video series okay so you be, before moving forward you have to realize that it's mandatory to focus on this powerful framework and how it will support you to understand the attack behaviors and how to it, it properly exploit or use or leverage a specific solution to tackle those issues so um, we're going to move forward with our technical training course and hopefully it will be beneficial for all of you. Thank you very much again for viewing the video. See you next time.